This is Prince. I've got Prince on a school day today. And uh, Prince's issues are socialisation. So he's quite reactive aggressive towards other dogs. So um, I met up with the owners last week, uh, did the initial consulta consultation in the house. So we set yeah, the boundaries in the house and improved some of the behaviour there. He was very um, reactive in the house, barking. And so we're sort of getting on top of that. That's just a work in progress. These things don't happen overnight. There's no time scale to these things. It's all about your body language and how you tell the dog what's right and what's wrong. So um, I met with the owners last week and I brought Roscoe with me because Roscoe is unreactive. So it doesn't matter what the dogs are doing to him, he will do what I want him to do. He won't panic and he won't go into reactive mode himself. So very often with dogs, if they don't get a reaction back, it will stop their behavior. And uh, that's why Roscoe is so good. So nothing's going to escalate. And at the same time, he's also letting the dogs know that what they're doing is not acceptable. That's not the behavior we want. Okay, this way. This way. So as you can see there, Prince is not great with this way, but what he's doing is following and copying Roscoe. So that's how we learn. That's why my dogs come in so handy. <laughs> To, uh, to get this the recall basically underway so <clears throat> last week when I met with the owners to walk Prince he was to begin with very um, reactive growling lunging trying to uh, to have a go at, at Roscoe um, a couple of times he kind of um, switched around and, and had a little a little go at me which is redirection it's not aggression towards a human so you know even if he had have bitten me um, it would only have been a nip and it wouldn't have been a full-on aggression bite, it would have been just redirection. There's a big difference. So um, so that was last week. By the end of the walk, I had them both walking side by side together. And that's the first time the owners have been able to have him walking with another dog. So that was great progress in, in just the hour's walk that we did. So today I've picked him up, he's going to spend a full day with me. And uh, if I can introduce him to all my four boys, brilliant, but I'm not going to push it. I'm going to do it um, steady but surely. And to begin with this morning, he was again quite reactive towards Roscoe, um, lunging at him, trying to bite him. And of course, Roscoe behaves in exactly the right way. He just blanks him, completely ignores him. Um, so we've come out on the walk. We've walked for about 15 minutes, um, both of them either side of me. Then I've crossed one over and they've been walking side by side on the lead. So I'm still controlling the behavior with the lead if I needed to. And um, when I see the body language is relaxed and calm, that's when, uh, that's when I can just let them off together. And that's what I've done now. And as you can see, they're fine. There's no issues. They're kind of best buddies, if you like, now all very relaxed. And, uh, and yeah, Prince is learning the, the recall and they're this way. So I'm going to carry on with this. I'm not going to walk too far because it's quite warm today. And obviously, um, well, both of these two, you know, they're, they're not built for the heat. So um, I'm going to carry on with this for a little bit longer. I'd like to meet a couple of other people and, uh, and, and just see what his reaction is with that. I will pop him on the lead when I see somebody. I'm not going to risk it. These aren't my dogs, <laughs> but I want to see what he's like on the lead after this walk with me, getting the pack balance right, and obviously getting a little bit of confidence with Roscoe. And then I'll head home, and we'll uh, we'll see how I get on with, um, with, I'm gonna choose Rio, because again, he will be unreactive, and uh, Rio's a little bit sort of faster moving, so. Right, nobody here, so I'll head back this way. Boys, this way, this way. So I say this way, I turn my back and I start walking away. That's good. Excellent. He's getting it. This is all building the relationship, building the uh, the leadership of the pack. Where I go, these go. I don't walk. I don't walk after them. I don't copy them. They copy me. That's what it's about. Um, so yeah, throughout the rest of the day, I'm gonna try and uh, introduce him to to the rest of mine at some stage. And um, obviously Sid is a little bit reactive himself, so he's not gonna be the perfect energy, which is what we need to test it. And Frank is just Mr. Fast. So 
Um, if anything's going to trigger a dog, it will be a fast moving dog. Um, so that will be that test. And as well as that, it's just going to be short, short little bursts really. I'm not going to do a great long walk. Um, they, they, they can't cope with it. <laughs> so um, it will be short bursts. And uh, after this, this is the starter if you like. After this, I'm just going to head to um, busier places where I know there will be more people because uh, there's nobody here so um yeah we'll see how we get on with that so I shall keep you updated but it's going just as I want it to just as I expected and I'm really pleased so uh good boys so far <laughs>